Hey, I'm Sven from the B Music Project. In the previous videos I often mentioned the term real-time and the one or the other method is not real-time safe and thus it can't be used. But what the is real-time? Let's take a look in Digital Signal Processing DSP. In a simple case you have a sound generator program, like our test tone plugin. No audio input. You optionally have got effects like our MyAmp plugin. And you have got our output system environment, including kernel drivers and digital on a low converters which are responsible to convert and transfer the digital data to the audio hardware, to the speakers, the headphones or whatever. There's the first problem. Digital signal processing, like all kinds of processing, takes time. So there can't be any simultaneity and the term real time might be a bit misleading, I have to admit. And after signal processing is completed, the signal still has to be sent to the system output. Thus, signal processing produces latency. But how is our audio system doing it? The system provides a time frame to generate and process audio data. The smallest possible time frame is one sample. And this takes some 20 microseconds in a 48,000 FPS standard audio system. Or 10 microseconds in a 96,000 FPS studio audio system. After this time, the audio system makes the next step right after the processed audio data are sent to the output hardware. So 20 microseconds at 48,000 FPS, or 10 microseconds at 96,000 FPS, are the smallest possible latencies, plus the hardware latency and so on of course. And in this time, the signaling must be completed. No exceptions. This is real time. Let's take a look to our test tone plugin. My test tone generates a sine wave, step by step. At the beginning, the output buffer content is undefined. It might be the content of an input buffer, or it might be zero, or it might be random, or whatever. If the whole signal processing is successfully completed in real time, then the undefined output content is overwritten, and a perfect sine wave is written step by step to the output. But what may happen if the process is not finished in the given time? Then the data are not ready to be written to the output hardware right in time. An output sample is missing. And our perfect sign gets interrupted. You will hear a nasty click. The data may appear in the output when all processes are successfully finished. And the sine wave continues in one of the next steps. For demonstration I use this example with a buffer size of only one sample. In practice, the buffer size mostly ranges between 128 and 2048 samples. So multiple samples can be processed at once. This is more efficient than processing single samples. And also multiple effects are allowed. They are processed sequentially in the same time frame. And if processing isn't completed, then the output buffer can't be sent to the audio hardware in time. And we will hear clicks again. Real-time safety, however, is a guarantee that processing is complete within this given time frame. And all processes which may take longer are not real-time safe. And thus also all methods used which may exceed the time frame are not real-time safe. These methods shouldn't be used in real-time audio processing threads. Now the question, what isn't real-time safe? Everything that may take longer than the given time frame. Especially everything that may take an undefined time, like waiting for user interactions, web access, file access, and all other methods and functions with process or thread blocking. Therefore, not only access to files, but also to devices, pipes, sockets and system cores is considered not to be real-time safe and thus forbidden. Even printing to the standard output or the standard error console, this means the text screen in the most cases, is critical. LB2 has got a lock feature which can be used instead. The most common problem is heap memory management, including allocation and freeing. It only takes nanoseconds in the most cases, but sometimes up to milliseconds or even longer. So heap memory allocation and freeing isn't real-time safe. No alloc, no calloc, no free. But also no new and no delete. And also no making smart pointers in modern C++. And it gets even worse. In C++ and especially in modern C++. 
Many features contain hidden heap memory management and thus are forbidden for real-time programming, like strings, streams, the most of the standard template library containers, exceptions and so on. The only real-time safe STL container is Array, as it can store the data on the stack instead of the heap. But it's only real-time safe as long as you don't use any exception throwing methods like add. Using C provides more control about heap memory management. Okay, it's more work to take control. But C is not always a better choice than C++. For instance, the rand function from C is considered to be not real-time safe. Whereas its C++ counterpart, standard min standard rand, is safe. Why? Rand from C uses global variables and protect them against conflicting read-write access from asset processes by so-called mutex locks. This means our real-time thread may be get stopped if multiple processes use rand. Not that unlikely. And this is forbidden in real-time programming. However, C++ standard min standard rand is real-time safe as it only locally stores member variables. So mutex locks, a common feature from parallel programming, are forbidden too in real-time programming. But fortunately, not the whole plugin is executed in the real-time thread. Then we wouldn't even be able to instantiate the plugin, as we have to call alloc and new. Only two LV2 core functions are executed in the real-time thread, connect port and run, and all functions and methods called from there. This means that the LV2 core functions connect port and run, the respective class method connect port and run, and all methods and functions called from there must be real-time safe. But sometimes we need to call non-real-time safe functions during or better in parallel to connect port and run. Like for loading samples in a sampler plugin. We only shouldn't do this in the real-time thread. LV2 has got a worker extension for this purpose. The worker is executed in another thread and may run in parallel to run. But how the worker works is something for another video. Also watch the other videos in this series. For more information take a look into the LV2 tutorial GitHub repository.